This video is intended for principals and professional school counselors and provides a walkthrough of the recommended workflow, conversations, and scoring of the professional school counselor evaluation organizer. The professional school counselor evaluation organizer should be one measure used for evaluating professional school counselors. There are a few steps that the professional school counselor is going to take when they begin constructing their evaluation organizer at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, the counselor and any evaluations of the responsibilities of the counselor should select three to five elements of the counselor evaluation organizer. Select the elements that best represent the duties expected of the counselor and those that represent opportunities for growth. Among those elements, element eight concerning the distribution of time a counselor spends on their responsibilities must also be completed as required by the state of Missouri. After the selection of the elements, the counselor creates and begins the evaluation organizer. This includes providing narratives and evidence for each of the selected elements and how they will be completed throughout the coming school year. Once the counselor has finished with the element narratives on their evaluation organizer, they will submit the organizer for evaluator review. On the home screen of the data tool, the evaluator will receive a notice that the counselor has submitted the evaluation organizer for approval. To view and review, a counselor evaluation organizer for approval, click on the pending implementation blue link within the pending reports box on the home screen of the data tool. The counselor evaluation organizer screen will appear and the evaluator can click on the name of the counselor to review. Once the organizer is open, review each of the elements that your professional school counselor completed. To help guide you, you may use the scoring rubric to identify the strength of each written narrative, but do not score the evaluation organizer at this time. If there are suggestions you have for the professional school counselor to enhance the organizer and the duties described within the selected elements, have a conversation and have them readdress those specific elements before approving the evaluation organizer. You will also see in the end of year evaluator review box, three questions that you can toggle the switches from no to yes. Those three questions are, does the professional school counselor meet ethical standards? Does the professional school counselor meet school district policies? Does the professional school counselor meet legal requirements? We strongly encourage and recommend that there is a conversation with the professional school counselor at this stage of the process. It should be a conversation centered on the work they have detailed within their narrative responses to the selected elements. It is a great time to get to know the responsibilities of the professional school counselor more fully, as well as a time to possibly connect them to other initiatives and people within the building or district that they may be able to collaborate with. When the evaluator is ready to score the professional school counselor evaluation organizer, the evaluator will go into the data tool and click on the My Teachers button on the left-hand navigation menu. In the scoring box of the My Teacher section of the data tool, the evaluator will click on Score Counselor Evaluations. The Counselor Evaluation screen will appear. In the upper right-hand corner, click New. When you click New, the Select a Person box will appear. Find the appropriate counselor in the box and click their name. Then click Select Person. The Counselor Evaluation for the Counselor will appear. To score, click the radial button next to the correct score for each completed element of the Counselor Organizer. For any and all completed elements, also leave comments concerning the specific element in the comments box. Those comments should justify the score that you provided for each element. Do not score elements that were not completed. If so desired, you may also leave overall comments about the evaluation organizer in the general comments section near the bottom of the screen. When complete, click one of the two buttons at the bottom. Complete finishes the scoring and sends an email notice to the counselor that a score was entered. Complete Later allows you to finish the scoring at a later time. 
if you select Complete Later, you can return to the Counselor Evaluation screen by going back to My Teachers and selecting Score Counselor Evaluations. You will see a list of incomplete counselor evaluations for you to complete. To finish an incomplete scoring, click Resume next to the teacher that you wish to resume the scoring of that organizer. When you are finished, click Complete to finalize the scoring. We again highly encourage and recommend a conversation with the professional school counselor at this time. Explaining the review of the evaluation organizer and the scoring of the selected elements. This conversation should focus on the strengths of the counselor and the next steps for continued growth and strengthening of the counselor professionally. Further information concerning the professional school counselor evaluation organizer, including a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the evaluation organizer, can be found in the Help and Resources section of the NEE Data Tool. If you have further questions or may require further assistance, please contact us at our help desk via email at nee at missouri.edu or by calling 1-844-793-4257. Thank you for listening and thank you for your efforts in educating the students in your schools.